Hello children, I am Ms. Dorothy. Today I will be teaching you social studies of standard 4. And today's topic is being a good citizen. Before we start, get into this chapter, first let me tell you who a citizen is. A citizen is a legal resident. And now let us study who is called a good citizen. When a per person performs his duties towards the country and thinks about its well-being, he is called a good citizen. A good citizen cares for private as well as public property. Now what is this private property. Let us study in details. Private property is what belongs to you and you have full right over it such as your pencil, books, etc. as it is given in the picture and you can clearly see it children. Nobody else can use it without your permission. You have to take care of these things and maintain them some things like bike, house, TV, etc. are owned by your parents and you too have the rights to use it. Hence, all the family members should take care of things owned by the family. All the things that are written are shown to you in pictures for a better understanding. Next, let us go to public property. Things like road, park, monuments, etc. which belong to the state or central government are called public property. Now what is a public property is given very very clearly children. Again I am repeating it. Things like road, park, monuments, etc. which belong to the state or central government are called public property. Public property belongs to the public and public refers to the citizens of the country. That is you and me children. Public property is there for you to enjoy the benefits of it. So every citizen must take care of public property. Again I repeat that is you and me citizen must take care of public property. For example, you call your school my school. It is right because it belongs to all the students. You should take care of your school. The maintenance, protection and preservation of public property is the duty of every citizen. Next we go to the duties or responsibilities of a good citizen. Number one, participation in elections. Voting in elections is one of the primary responsibility of a good citizen. In India, people above 18 years exercise their right to vote to choose their leaders. They choose the members of parliament as well as members of legislative assembly by giving their votes on an electronic voting machine. People should not think that their vote is of no use. It has a great value. Pictures of the EVM machine is given very clearly for you to see and you can see it children. Next, showing care for public property and historical monuments. A responsible citizen shows care for the public property like post offices, railway stations, etc. He obeys rules and regulations at these places 
and does not damage anything there. He stands in a queue and waits for his turn. Very clearly given in the picture, he stands in a queue and waits for his turn. He buys a proper ticket for travel and does not damage the fans, lights, etc. during traveling. He obeys traffic rules on road. He does not tear papers from books at a public library. One must behave in a disciplined way at historical monuments and should not scribble on the walls of it. Very, very important children. One must be well behaved in the historical monuments and should not scribble on the walls of it. He maintains his vehicle so that it does not emit much smoke and does not harm street lights. You should not dirty the compound by throwing empty food packets here and there and maintain cleanliness of the place. Very, very, very important. Now children, this was unit one of the chapter. So now unit two will be continued in the next video. Be safe, stay at home children. Thank you.